first, it means empowering journalists to do their work by setting up the right economical, legal, and social framework. It means having independent media regulators who guarantee the independence of the media and have a sort of watchdog position. In case of printed and online media, it means to have efficient self-regulation, to have media councils and other self-regulatory measures in order to keep the state outside of any potential influence on content. In case of public service media, it includes financial and political guarantees for its independence. Third, it means having the right tools to protect editorial independence in the newsroom from outside or inside influence, be it politicians, businessmen or women, or advertisement companies, for example. It also means creating or maintaining an environment where potential aggressors know that they are persecuted and hold to power by law enforcement if they attack journalists' integrity. We call it no to impunity. Five, it means that also law enforcement, police and governments need to do everything to enable the environment, I mentioned before, that guarantees journalists' work. Also by protecting journalist sources, by guaranteeing access to information, but also access to events, be it demonstrations, be it refugee camps, or whatever is of public interest. And last but not least, in times of market failure of journalism, it means creating sustainable ways for independent media companies, for freelancers, to be able, again, to do their work, as journalism is a public good, and deserves, therefore, full protection, both legally, financially, and socially. Governments are to supply public goods that markets either fail to provide or cannot provide efficiently. And in the case of journalism, of course, at arms length. 